Today I'm going to do a quick video on the Series 5 Walking Dead figures. Uh, these are the McFarlane Toys figures. Um, if you remember, these are the figures which come from digital, digital scans of the actors and actresses themselves. Um, we've got five figures. We've got Glenn, Maggie, Tyrese. We've got a charred zombie. And we've got Merle as a zombie. Um, to be honest, I think all the characters look really good. I think they've turned out really well, and I think these figures are getting better each time for through each series. And the only the only figure that I'm not too sure about would be Maggie. Um, she's just something a little bit off in her face. But um, let me zoom in and show you each character. So starting with Glenn. Glenn's actually my favourite. Um, also, he's a really popular character, but I also think this figure turned out really well for Glenn. Um, the face likeness is pretty spot on. You've got a second head there from when he was beaten up by Mel um, in season three. Uh, you get a dagger, you get a pistol, you get a machine gun, you get um, some riot gear as well, which is quite apt given that's what he's wearing in the current season or in the last season. Um, you have brown shoes, these kind of army green trousers which are looking a bit greener on the camera than they actually are and then you've got this green kind of top with a white t-shirt underneath but if you look at the kind of contrast between the skin and the clothes I think that looks really cool so that's Glenn moving on to Maggie now as I said I'm not too keen on Maggie um, I like the character in the show but I don't think this figure um, turned out as well as it could have done, um, but still, it's still cool to get her. She has a pistol, she has blood splatter on the chest, um, she has a kind of dark green top, quite similar to the same colour as Glenn's trousers. Um, she has a, a holster there attached to some jeans, well, they certainly look like they, they are jeans, um, and black boots. She also comes with a blooded knife or machete there and a machine gun as well so that's Maggie uh, moving on to Tyrese I think Tyrese turned out really well um, quite a good likeness here uh, Tyrese has this kind of worn weathered beanie and a warm dirty top he comes with a hammer which is quite cool I like the hammer um, he has a kind of ammo pouch um, there he has blue jeans, or uh, I guess they're kind of combat trousers. He has a pistol, and he also has a shotgun. But yeah, just zooming back on the face there, I think Tyrese is a pretty good likeness to the character in the show. Moving on to the charred zombie. Um, the charred zombie's turned out really well. As you can, you can see, the kind of burning effect there on the head um, the red glow, the red's turning out or shining a lot brighter than it actually looks in person on the camera um, the face does look a little more charred and black um, and it's the same all over the body so that looks really cool and he's got a burnt top and really worn burnt trousers down to the feet there kind of where the skin is melted to the clothes it looks really cool so he's turned out really well um, he comes with a gas can fuel can so yeah that is the charred zombie and finally we have Mel as a zombie Obviously in series 3 of the figures we got Mel as a standard character and we also received Mel in the double pack with um, his brother Daryl um, the male zombie is okay. Um, obviously, Mel, we didn't see Mel as a zombie for very long in the TV series, but the figure definitely represents what we saw. Um, you've got blood on the face, zombie eyes, um, you've got blood down the chest there, you've got a black shirt, blood splatter all over this character because he's a zombie, obviously. Um, he has his arm with the metal spike at the end where he lost his hand in season one um, more blood splatter 
Again, very similar colour trousers to Glenn there. Um, combat green. Uh, he has kind of a few trinkets and chains hanging there from the trousers. And then brown shoes. Uh, doesn't actually come with any accessories. This one. And you can see some art there on the box. Just to show you all of the art on the box. So yeah, this is series five. Um, I believe we'll probably get one more character, which is Daryl riding the motorbike. Um, I haven't actually looked for that one yet. I'm not sure if that one's out. I think I saw it on another YouTuber's video, so potentially that one is available now. Um, so far, these are the, the five that I've managed to pick up. And they'll go quite well with all my other characters in my display. So, um, kind of cost-wise, these were £10 each in UK. So £50 for the five, which is pr pretty fair, I think. I'm quite happy to pay that. Uh, for the level of detail you get on these characters. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that you pick them up if you can. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. My name's Brad. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Goodbye.